GCU Learn is the university's virtual learning environment. You will find resources here to support your studies. To access GCU Learn, you can go via the student homepage at www.gcu.ac.uk slash student. Alternatively, you can access directly at blackboard.gcal.ac.uk. From the student homepage, click the GCU Learn link in the panel at the right-hand side of the page. The GCU Learn sign-in page will be displayed. Read the privacy policy, click Agree and Continue, then click on the Log On button to log in. Your GCU Learn site will then be displayed. All writing, and that includes academic writing, follows basic organisational principles. A well-written piece of academic writing presents information in a series of well-constructed paragraphs. The writer's job is to sequence information and ideas in a text so that the reader doesn't have to make an effort to follow the writer's argument or line of thought. In this module, we'll be adding the comp to the render queue. We'll take a look at the render settings, module output, and output too. We'll cover file formats and the various codecs available, and why you should choose them. You'll also learn how to create a render settings template and a module output template using your own custom settings to optimize the final output. How to render a comp with transparency, and when it would be a good idea to render an image sequence as opposed to a movie file. We'll also look at output into various formats at the same time while only needing to render once. So I'm now ready to output my comp to a file. Now there are a couple of different ways to do this, but first we're going to add the comp to the render queue and we'll take a look at some of the settings to make sure that we get consistent results every time. Before you start rigging your character, it's a good idea to make sure that the geometry is set up to make the rigging as easy as possible. Make sure that your character is at the correct scale, and it's always easier to rig a character with its arms outstretched in the natural T-pose. Make sure that the density of the models isn't too high. A light to medium density should be enough to rig the character with good deformations without too much detail to worry about. Do you want to segment your model? Keeping your model as one mesh will make it easier to manage your geometry, but sometimes it's better to have a separate head for facial animation. It makes creating morph targets easier, and it makes rigging easier. <laughs> 